In today's video, we're going to talk about the aids used in health education. These aids are used for transmitting health education, thus constituting the main component of the education process. If used properly, they contribute to the formation of desirable concepts, provide interest for abstract ideas, and make learning permanent. Once the individual is interested and takes measures to prevent the occurrence of a disease, we know that health education has been effective. A wide variety of media are used for this purpose, which can be classified into three main categories, auditory aids, visual aids, and a combination of the two. Let us understand each type in brief. First are the auditory aids, which, as is evident, are based on the principle of sound. Some of the commonly used auditory aids in health education are public addressing systems like microphones and megaphones. Radio and gramophone records and discs can also be used for educating people. All these aids can reproduce any kind of word and can also be used for entertainment and mass communication purposes. Next, we'll talk about visual aids. These aids are based on the principle of visualization or projection. They help the public to understand concepts better as they can visualize it. These can be further divided into two more categories, namely projected and non-projected aids. The projected aids are those which need projection from a source onto a screen, like cinemas, slides, film strips or video cassettes. The use of such aids proves to be fruitful as real-life situations, like you know, can be enacted in films and hence the complete process is explanatory. Also, we tend to have more interest in watching a film than sitting through an educational program. If the educational program gets incorporated within a film, it will serve a dual purpose of entertaining the audience alongside educating them about a cause. The non-projected aids, on the other hand, do not need to be projected on a screen. These may include the blackboard, pictures, charts, posters, brochures, models and flashcards. Since we've already seen the advantages of both auditory and visual aids, why not combine the two? A combination of the two is what we use in the modern world. Upon combining both sound and projection, a better presentation can be made. These include televisions, tape and slide combinations, multimedia computers, etc. Traditional media like folk dance and songs, puppet shows and drama can also be included under this category. There are some points to remember for educational aids in health education. First, these aids should be considered as tools only. A teacher or someone who teaches you the proper methods and skills needed for learning may be required for the process. Second, the aids chosen should be appropriate for the targeted group. And lastly, when used in a good environment with good lighting and ventilation along with comfortable seating like in movie halls, Educational aids are more effective. In conclusion, the use of educational aids in health education is crucial for enhancing the teaching and learning experience. By using a variety of visual and auditory aids, the public can improve their comprehension and retention of health-related information. Remember, we need to follow the best way possible in selecting and using these aids to ensure maximum effectiveness. That was all for this video. Thank you. If you stuck with me till now, I am sure you enjoyed the video. Please do like, share and subscribe to the channel. It makes up for all the time and effort we put into making concepts so simple and easy for you. Hope to see you in the next one.